Hello everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Ask a Game Artist. This idea spawned from a question I have been asked a lot, and just recently uh, somebody by the name of Morgan Nixon asked me, um, how do you stand out to potential employers? I think it's a very good topic to go into, and I'm actually going to show um, Morgan Nixon's demo reel because I thought it was a good kind of um, litmus test as to how where your work should be in getting a job. Um, there were little things with timing here and there that I, th I think could have been worked on, but uh, it, it, the important part was that all everything I saw there could be art directed fairly easily and she could probably pick it up and fix it and it'd be great. Um, if there's too many things to fix on your demo reel, um, if there's too much filler content, um, like filler animations, filler models that aren't re you're not really proud of but you're putting in there just so you have them, um, that stuff will just turn people off immediately. So right off the bat, you're going to notice she gets her name on and off the screen very quickly. I'd say out of everything, that is one of the most important things you need to do, is just to get your info displayed. Don't do any like elaborate intros or anything, just get that stuff up there and get on to the to the animation otherwise you're gonna get your demo reel skipped over um, you have a, on average about 10 seconds to impress an art director uh, an anim lead animator anybody that's looking at your reel um, so don't use that time with an introduction as you can see here all the fundamentals are here it all looks pretty good um, there's just like little things with timing here and there that are a little slow at spots but uh, nothing that can't be art directed which is the most important part um, we're not looking for perfection we're just looking for all right is there enough here where I can kind of just give them some notes and they could fix it if there's too much if there's just if someone can't even get a simple walk down um, or a simple just interaction and emotion down uh, they're not gonna get a job because there's just too much there to teach so I feel like um, that was a good thing to show to show just to show you kind of where your work needs to be to even get considered um, for a job because uh, you know she still has some stuff to work out but I think that um, she's gonna do pretty well once she just kind of tightens up those little things um, the important part was that she got her name up and displayed very quickly she didn't do any over design like Photoshop glow or anything or animations she just got it up there got it got into the animations very quickly um, didn't have any filler content all the animation there looked sound um, just there was like little spots like I said here and there and it got over nice and quick actually which was uh, positive in my eyes um, sometimes animation reels can run on if, if your animation reel is more than two minutes you need to cut it down because no one's gonna spend more than two minutes looking at your reel and no one's gonna spend more than 10 seconds deciding whether you're they should keep looking at your reel so just keep those things in mind um, when making your reel for your portfolio I'm um, standing out all comes down to the demo reel um, how you structure your resume does help um, how you present yourself in your cover letter does help um, but the end-all be-all is your demo reel a lot of times the very first thing any employer is gonna see before they read anything is the demo reel and if they see something in your demo reel then they will get to the resume then you will get to a phone interview then you will get to your real interview and then maybe you'll get a job but uh first comes the demo reel after you get a demo reel that is nice um you're happy with um just get a website that's competent that just displays the work very quickly you can even just do youtube or vimeo you don't even need a website um just i did vimeo for a long time uh because i didn't have to maintain it i didn't have to keep making sure it was working which is what i had to do with my my old website um, so it's oh, it's okay. Nobody's gonna dock you points for using Vimeo or YouTube for your your work um, They only care about getting just clicking into it and getting up to it really fast because these guys don't have much time um, as I've said before um, You know your resume uh, if you don't have a lot of experience You can just do what you can to make it look like you have experience just be real with people they can see that um, you're still learning and they understand that and if again if your real is good if your portfolio is good all that goes away nobody cares about anything else um, if your work is good so the next best way to stand out after your demo reel 
after your resume is your cover letter. Um, cover letter is a great, a great way to stand out. A lot of times, um, people, their cover letters are just kind of a template. Just, you know, insert X company here. Hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. I love your company stuff. Um, you know, the same old, same old, I'd love a job. Uh, you know, everybody would love a job. So it's just, I'd say in your cover letters, focus on what you can do for them. Don't ask for a job, essentially. I know that's, it's, it sounds weird because that's what you're doing. You're asking for a job, but what you do is you say, how can I, you know, I, I believe that I can help you. And you have to display that in your cover letter. Like you want to seem like you're interested, but not that you're a, um, desperate. Uh, you, you know, even if you are, like I was there before, I was desperate. Um, and you just have to kind of maintain this professional sense about you that almost like you're already working in the industry before you are. So it's this, um, you know, it's this middle ground that you have to kind of walk in seeming interested, but not desperate. Um, just in being confident, but not overconfident. Um, your level of confidence has to match your work. So if you're really confident, you have to be really good. If, you know, but don't go the opposite way where it's like um, you're putting yourself down or anything. And, you know, if, if your cover letter is good and your demo reel is good, that's going to get you a phone interview. So once you get to the phone interview, that's a pretty good sign that they're interested. Nobody's going to spend the time on a phone interview if they're not interested. So you can go into that phone interview with some confidence. You know, most of the time, um, they're just trying to see if you're a person they want to work with. Um, so on the phone interview, don't get, you know, it's okay to be nervous. Everybody understands, like phones are so difficult to have interviews over because there's no body language. Um, everyone understands that. Um, I think it's funny, like sometimes you'll kind of hear the interviewee get a little nervous because they don't know how to kind of act and react when, you know, the questions are coming. Um, so, um, you know, the, the biggest way I think to stand out in a phone interview is to ask questions at the end. Um, you'll go through like what you know and what you, you're, you know, kind of your, how you got to where you are. And um, you'll go through all that uh, on, in, during the first part of the interview. But really what they want to see is what questions do you have? Um, if you do never, never, ever, ever, um, end the phone interview without asking a question about the company. Um, that will, it's like 100% guarantee you will not get hired if you don't ask any questions. Um, so always ask a question, that'll help you stand out there. Um, now, once you get to the interview, if you're lucky enough to have your demo reel looked at, they like it, they look at your resume, they like it, they look at your cover letter, they say, okay, this person seems like they, they'd be uh, someone we wanna talk to. You go through the phone interview, they like you, you seem interested, you get all the way to the interview. A big item for interviews is always attire. Um, what you're going, how you're going to dress. Uh, in the game industry, this advice on this varies wildly. Um, I'm probably going to get some people mad no matter what I say, so all I will say is do you. Just dress as you. Be comfortable as you possibly can without seeming like a scrub. Don't have a stained t-shirt and uh, pants with a hole in them. Um, just, you know, have at least like a button up. Um, doesn't even need to be really tucked in. Just a button up and some nice jeans and some decent shoes. And that'll probably get you through the interview. No one's going to be like, oh my gosh. Like everybody's going to be dressed like that at that place. So, um, you know, if you want to go into a full suit, that's that's cool. Like, I would be impressed by someone that got in a full suit. Um, but uh, I have not seen somebody that works currently works in the industry dress in a full suit for an interview. So, um, you know, just to be safe, just a nice button up and pants. Like, that's it. Just don't go over the top just with attire because then you'll feel uncomfortable. Um, it's a funny story. Uh, my first interview. I put a tie on. I had a, I dressed all up and I got a tie on, and I you know halfway through the interview I you know I noticed that nobody had a tie in the entire place, um, not even people working in the office, and it, it, we were at lunch, 
and you know that I had the tie on this whole time and it was kind of feeling weird because we we're all like talking and chatting and hanging out and I took it off um, you know because halfway through the interview it was a long and it was like a four-hour interview because it just felt awkward and I, I didn't get get that job um, and I almost feel like it was because the tie showed that I just didn't know what I was doing. So ever since then, I've just been kind of sensitive to like how you should dress for the interviews. Uh, and the safest bet is just a nice button up, nothing crazy. You know, make sure that you bring something to write on uh, for notes. Um, that'll make you look a lot smarter. Um, try to you know, again, the questions, ask everyone questions at the end, even if it's the same question, it doesn't matter. Keep asking it. Um, questions are important. And, you know, just again, be you. So another thing that will help you stand out is um, how you deal with um, maybe like an awkward moment during your interview. It's okay to be nervous and have awkward moments. Um, you know, if something happens where it's just kind of awkward, you can, you know, just apologize and move on and they'll probably be like oh no it's fine it's fine and you'll just move on um, and don't get don't stick to it just kind of try to move on as fast as you can from it in your head and just keep thinking about going forward and showing people who you are um, because you know that if you've gotten to that point again you're in this interview people they're spending all their time during their busy work day to to um, interview you and that means that they really like you so just remember that. Just keep that in your head. Be like, hey, they, they think I am, I can do this job. So it's okay. They're just trying to see who I am, if I can work with them, and that's it. Um, so just remember that. I, I think that's a pretty good overview of how you can stand out from the very beginning to the end of the process of getting hired. Um, you know, then there's also things like negotiating, and I won't get into that here. That wraps up the very first episode of Ask a Game Artist. I had a lot of fun answering this one. Um, what I need from you, because I really want to keep these going, in the comments below, ask any question you want to ask me. I've been making games for 10 years now. I have a lot of stuff. I've, had, I've worked with a lot of people from different game companies, um, and I have a lot of knowledge to share, so please ask me, and I want to share it. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, want to know exactly what, when everything's coming out, hit the subscribe button. I thank you so much. I'm just trying, starting this thing, and I'm trying to get it off the ground. So thank you guys. Have a good one.